So I want to talk to you about purpose. First and foremost, 1 John chapter 3, verse 8b. Father God, let the reading of your word fall on ears to hear and hearts to receive the engrafted word of the Lord. Let it just sink in and take root and grow, Father God. Be blessed in Yahushua's name. And Father God, we give you all the praise, honor, and glory in Yahushua's name. Amen. 1 John 3, 8b. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. So, you know, it kind of helps first and foremost to understand why Jesus came and why Jesus had to come. Let's do a few more scriptures about Yeshua, Yahushua, uh, Jesus. If he's the uh, just one, and he is just one, and he is the only just one, uh, you'll get the name right. So, whether it's Yahshua, Yahushua, Jesus, just praise him, saints. Jesus' purpose. Look, let's look at Mark chapter 8, verse 31. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. Well, we all know that story. But you'd be surprised how many people don't. So if you will look at um, Luke 18, 32 and 33, Luke chapter 18, verses 32 and 33, for he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles. And shall be mocked and spitefully entreated and spitted on. And they shall scourge him and put him to death. And the third day he shall rise again. So, you know, you kind of put this story together. You'll, you'll get there. How about Matthew chapter 10 verse 34. And uh, I've literally seriously been... Uh, to the um, church under the bridge and heard this completely the opposite. I just want to clarify um, whatever you hear, saints, wherever you hear it, pray for the man or woman of God that's speaking and then go look for yourself to see if they're telling you the truth. Matthew chapter 10 verse 34 reads on this wise, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth, I came not to send peace, but a sword. Jesus' purpose. He said it in red. Think not that I am come to bring peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Study that out on your own. So, you know, we, we know he had to be mocked and offered up to the Gentiles and spit it on and scourged and die and rise again three days and... He didn't bring peace. He brought a sword. Uh, look at Luke chapter 2, verse 34 and 35. So we're establishing Yahushua's purpose so that we can find out what our purpose is. There's a purpose. For your life, saints. And it's probably not the one that you're fulfilling right now. Oops. Luke 2, 34 and 35. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thine own soul also that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Jesus came to reveal the hearts of men. He is the true sword of the Spirit, God in the flesh. The spoken word of God is the sword of the Spirit. So here we go. Here's your scripture. 
he came to bring a sword, but he is the sword because guess what? Many hearts will be revealed through the word of God. So Jesus' purpose is established here. And let's just go back in the Old Testament to Isaiah 53.10. Just so that, um, you know, there's so many scriptures in the Old Testament that point to Yahushua. But um, this is a favored. Isaiah 53.10. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin... He shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Come on, saints, there it is. That's the, there's the purpose right there. It's It's been foretold in the Old Testament, and then you have it all up in the New Testament. So, if somebody wants to argue with that, just write these down, go back, study it out. You got it. Jesus came to cause some trouble. The next time that he comes, there's going to be a whole lot more trouble before he comes. But when he comes back, he's going to quench it all. So let's get back to purpose. What is your purpose? We know what Yeshua's um, purpose was. Let's check out the Old Testament about your purpose. But I want you to understand here, follow me, saints. The primary way that God will speak to you about your purpose, about anything, about all of life's issues, the laws, the codes, the morals, everything. He speaks to us in holy scriptures. Holy scripture. Not the stuff that's been watered down and the words removed and whole entire verses taken out. You are responsible for getting the pure word and, and um, using your little uh, I say little concordance. Yeah, mine's duct taped together. There's a reason for that, saints. Uh, you can't produce fruit until you got some seed in there that's growing. So, I've had some seed sown and it's producing fruit now. So, get your concordance and do a little research. Get your lazy self up off the couch. Turn the television and the internet off and study to show yourself approved. God loves you. The only thing that's going to separate you from God is yourself through sin. And if you don't have a relationship with the Lord, there's probably a reason you don't have a relationship. Because Jesus came to reveal the hearts of men and women. That's, that's us. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's find out what your purpose is. It's in the Word of God. Old Testament, Ecclesiastes, chapter 3. Uh, wait a minute, I'm going to start in Psalms. Hold on. Uh, we're going to start in Psalm, chapter 33, verse 11. Psalm 33, 11. Uh, hey, what's my purpose? Let's find out. Psalm 33, 11. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Now think about that. If the counsel of the Lord, which is the Holy Scripture, stands forever. And the thoughts of his heart to all generations. You're being pointed to the word of God to know your purpose. So... He's put everything plainly on paper, which is the Logos, so that when you receive it through Ruach, the Spirit, it becomes life and you're quickened. And you are going to be like, oh, I need to start looking in here to find out my purpose. So, Psalm 33, 11, the counsel of the Lord stands forever in the thoughts of his heart to all generations. All you got to do is ask, saints. Don't go ask a prophet. Don't go ask your pastor. You get your purpose. You and I get our purpose through the counsel of the Lord. Psalm 138, 8. Psalm 138, 8. The Lord will perfect 
that which concerns me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of thine own hands. Wow. Here's a promise about your purpose. The Lord is going to complete and perfect that which concerns you. And it's like, thy mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Remember that. So, he's not going to forsake the work of his hands. You, you and I are the work of God's hands. He's not going to forsake us. We forsake him. So, if you want to find your purpose, get in the word of God. It's pointing you to the fact that he's going to finish what he started. He's not a man that would lie He's going to finish what he started. He's not the one that runs out on us. We run out on him. Proverbs 16, 4. The Lord has made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Oh! Wait a minute. Hmm. Think about that, saints. Some folks have never heard that. Okay, in John chapter 1, all things that were made were made by him, and without him nothing was made that was made. So that means even evil has a purpose, and it's reserved for judgment. The Lord has made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Yeah, think on that. So there's a purpose even for wicked, evil people, places, and things. Yeah. Yeah. God's purpose. What? Where does that leave your purpose at? Well, follow me. Let's go over to Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. 19 and 21 says, There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. So there's another version of the word of God. It's a little simpler. It's like, y'all like to make a whole lot of plans. That your plans ain't going to matter. At the end of the day, God's purpose is going to prevail. So if you don't know what his purpose is, your purpose does not matter. His purpose is going to prevail. So you can make all the plans you want to. He's going to have his way. He's creator. And that's why, you know, people don't like that because he's the creator and they want to be the creator. They want to be the author of their own life. They want to be the one that picks their own purpose. Yeah, you can't pick your own purpose. Uh, you can pick your nose. You can pick your seat. Uh, but you cannot pick your purpose. It's kind of like picking your family. You get what you get. And um, a lot of people don't get their purpose. They never fulfill their destiny. Seriously. Proverbs 20 and 5. Counsel in the heart of man is like deep water. But a man of understanding will draw it out. Well, that's simple. You can sit and think and ponder and, and just, oh man, I'm thinking really deep now. But um, if you got any sense at all in your head, you're going to figure out what God's purpose is. You're going to draw out that purpose that he placed in your heart. It's not going to be about you and yourself and I, 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 me, 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 we, 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 us four and no more. It's going to be about God's purpose. So Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1, we're talking about your purpose. How do I find out my purpose? This is a good one, saints. I'm glad you asked. To everything there is a season and to, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Hmm. You think your purpose might have something to do with timing? Think about that. Verse 17. Ecclesiastes 3. 17, I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. God's got a plan and a purpose for everything that he does, says, and creates. Let's um, jump over here to Isaiah chapter 46, verses 10 and 11. Love it. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure calling a ravenous bird from the east the man that executeth my counsel from a far country yea I have spoken it I will also bring it to pass I have purposed it 
I will also do it. Simple enough, saints. God purposed it. It's going to happen. You can fight. You can snot and blow and delay and have every excuse in the whole entire world. You're either going to do it God's way. You're going to find your purpose. His purpose for you. Your purpose. And fulfill it. Or you're just you're going to pay the tune. Whatever you sow, you're going to reap. You, you, we're all going to die or we're going to be caught away or translated or but seriously the Bible is very simple on this it's scriptural it is appointed unto man once to die and then the judgment so I don't, you you cannot get out of it you know the body suit the little tent whatever you want to call it your form on earth it is going to die Every human being has lived and will die, okay? Your friends, your family. Oh, that's gory, that's depressing. No, not if you're ready to go. Not if you're prepared to meet your maker, okay? Prepare. You're be you, we're being given time to find our purpose and to prepare for eternity. Eternity is a long time, saints. You got a little tiny time on earth and the rest of that timeline is forever. Wake up! The Lord loves you. He's got a purpose for you. Oh, I don't know what it is. Did you try reading this? Guess what? It's in there. He ain't going to lead you down a dark path and you're going to fall off a cliff. <laughs> Your word is a light into my, a lamp into my feet and a light for my path. Okay, where are we? Well, we already read Isaiah 46, 10 and 11. He's going to have his way. You might as well just give in and do it his way because your way does it the ways of a man are you know just perfect and great in his own eyes but it just leads him to death i'm preaching to the choir isaiah 26 3 through 12 this is kind of a afterthought that's why it's out of well it's not out of order it's right in order isaiah 26 3 through 12 thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusts in thee here you go, saints. Just get on the wagon. Let's ride. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord, Yehovah, is everlasting strength. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high. The lofty city he layeth it low. He layeth it low even to the ground. He bringeth it even to the dust. The foot shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. The way of the just is uprightness, thou most upright dost weigh the path of the just. Yea, in the way of thy judgments, O Lord, have we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name. There, there's your purpose right there. The desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. There's your purpose. Every single human being has a purpose. With my soul have I desired thee in the, in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me I will seek you early. For when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Let favor be showed to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Lord, when thy hand is lifted up, they will not see, but they shall see. They shall see. And be ashamed for their envy at this people. Yea, the fire of thine enemies shall devour them. Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for us. For thou also hast wrought all our works for us, in us. Purpose, 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 saints. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. We should all know that one by heart. For I know the thoughts I think towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Let me read it verbatim. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Wow. God has a purpose for me. Yeah. How about 32, 19? Jeremiah 32 and 19. And out of them... Wait, oops, wrong. Give me a second. 3219. 
great in counsel and mighty in work, for thine eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men to give every one according to his ways and to the fruit of his doings. If you think about that, saints, your purpose, you're going to be accountable for your purpose, fulfilled or not fulfilled. Yeah, think about that. You know, I have so many scriptures on purpose, saints. I, I want to share something with you really quick, but I believe that you'll find that Exodus 9, 16 just kind of sums it all up. And I didn't really get into the New Testament about your purpose, but you need to get in the New Testament about your purpose. Uh, 2 Timothy 1.9, 1 Peter 2.9, Acts chapter 2 verses 23, Acts chapter 3 verse 36, Colossians chapter 1 verse 16, Luke chapter 7 verse 30, Romans 8, 28. Everybody knows that one. Or if they don't, they should memorize it. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. Matthew 28, 18 through 20, the Great Commission. Philippians 2, 12, through 12 and 13. Look them up. Read them. The purpose is right there. Smacks you right in the face. You can't get away from your purpose, saints. You have a purpose. God has a plan for you. The purpose in Exodus 9, 16. I'm like, yeah, here I am, Lord. And in very deed, for this cause have I raised thee up for to show in thee my power and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about y'all, but whoo, yeah. And in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up. For to show in thee my power and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. That's simple enough, saints. You were born to bring glory and honor to Yahushua. Ooh, Lord, you are worthy. Lord, you are worthy. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb. Um, you know, I can't not shed a tear when I think that we've all been called by the Lord and made for a purpose to bring glory to Him. Not to ourselves and not to a ministry and not to a man or a woman. To the Lord. I encourage you to get in the scripture and you'll figure this out, saints. You must search for your purpose by digging into the scripture. In that scripture, you're going to find how to live wisely. You're going to you're going to find how to live in God's word. That's the first step in finding your purpose. Saints, your purpose is your personal life mission. It's, it's going to be an intense passion. It's going to spark you to action. It's going to be a drive. It's going to be the reason that you have that, that reason to live. Well, I don't have a reason and I'm depressed. Get up and know that you are God's child and you are alive. Cast that devil out. Cast that thought out. Think on things that are true and just and honest and pure and lovely and stop thinking about all that other stuff. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and you'll have your aha moment. It'll be personified and poured out in every aspect of your life. The enemy seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. Stop allowing him to cause you to agree with him and calling God a liar. Stop calling God a liar. He's not a man that should lie. The enemy's purpose is to get you to doubt God and to think that God is the liar. Saints, your purpose is to bring glory and honor to the Lord. You can't bring glory and honor to the Lord if you're in a pity party and you just refuse to do things God's way. At some point, you got to make a decision to separate yourself. And come out from among them. That's my that's my purpose. 
to say, come out from among them. Instead of giving you the definition of purpose first, I thought I'd do that last. Purpose, the dictionary meaning. The reason for which something is done. The reason for which something or someone is created. The reason for which something or someone exists. Synonyms are ambition, aspiration, born, B-O-U-R-N-E, design, dream, end, goal, idea, intent, mark, meaning, objective, plan, point, pretension, target, thing. All of those are synonyms, saints, for your purpose. A lady came by the prayer tent last week and she had a shirt on that said ambition. I was like, didn't think anything about it. I never really looked up the word purpose and its synonyms, and wow, I guess the Lord was speaking to me, wasn't he? Because I find out that the synonym for purpose is ambition. Saints, the meaning of your life, the meaning of your life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. Pablo Picasso. The meaning of life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. Be busy. Be passionate about your purpose. My purpose is to bring glory and honor to the Lord and to help people wake up and realize that they're going to die and meet their maker and they can only get it right while they're alive. And if they decide to do it God's way, hallelujah, and if they don't, wow, it's their decision, but my purpose is to point you to the Lord, Yahushua Hamashiach, Jesus Messiah, Jesus of Nazareth, the just one. I'll leave you with this. I think I've seen this on Facebook or something. I'm, I'm not really sure, but I wrote it down. Uh, just imagine this. You finally made it to heaven, and the Lord says this to you. Before I laid the foundation of the earth, I thought of you and of the days you would live on earth. I planned out the people and the places I would give you. I laid out your neighbors and your workplace, the places you would attend school and your family. I gave you enough days to do all the good works I purposed for you, and I equipped you with all you would need to accomplish those purposes. Hmm. I gave you my word so that you would know me and know what to do. I gave you people to run with and people who needed me. I think we need to talk about how all that went. And I would think that would be signed, God, Yahuwah, your creator. So, I just want to encourage you, saints. Get in the word of God. Find your purpose. Find his plan. It's never too late. I don't care if you're 90, okay? You're still living because there's something you need to do. There's someone you need to touch or help. 